Good morning and Happy New Year. My name is Jessica. I'm one of the pastors on staff at Twin Lakes Church. I'm excited to be joining you this morning. You know, my job is mostly with the middle school students. And if you didn't know, our youth groups are currently meeting outside under the tent with masks. So if you have a son or daughter in middle school or high school, check it out. It's a great way to connect. Today, we're continuing our video Devo series, Calm in Chaos, and I'm excited to join you. I grew up as the daughter of a pastor and I was literally born on Tuesday and in church on Sunday and did not miss many Sundays after that. So I grew up hearing Bible stories and they were very, very familiar to me. So familiar that they kind of lost their significance because I knew exactly what would happen. So if you're anything like me, sometimes the Bible becomes so familiar that it just kind of can lose its meaning or its grip on our imagination. But then every once in a while, I find I can climb into a story and identify with the characters. And Mark 4 is an example of one of those stories. In Mark chapter 4, Jesus and his disciples climb into a boat and they cross the Sea of Galilee. And they're leaving after a taxing day of ministry and Jesus is tired, so he falls asleep. And then a furious squall comes and overtakes them and the disciples are terrified for their lives. And this ragtag group of fishermen that has seen plenty of storms thinks they're all gonna drown, that their boat is gonna capsize and that's gonna be it. So they finally, out of fear and frustration, they wake Jesus up and they're like, Jesus, how can you sleep during this? Don't you care? And Jesus stands up and he says, peace, be still. And the wind dies down and the waves stop immediately. And then he turns to the disciples and he says, he says, why were you so afraid? Where's your faith? And then they look at each other and they're like, who the heck is in our boat that the wind and the waves obey him? And they go from being terrified of the storm to being terrified of Jesus. Can you imagine being there? Can you imagine being in that boat and being like, I'm scared for my life. And then all of a sudden, Jesus says, peace be still, and the wind and waves die down. It would be amazing. I can totally imagine it. And like the disciples, I would also be absolutely terrified at the power that Jesus had and be like, what is going on? Who is this guy? And you know, in our lives, we don't really face meteorological storms. Those are not the kind of storms we look to Jesus to calm. We look to Jesus to calm storms like financial storms, emotional storms, medical storms, relational storms, and in our current political climate, we're all facing a political storm. You know, there are a lot of lessons that we can pull from the story, but I'm gonna focus just on one, and that is remember who is in your boat. You know, the disciples let their fear of the storm kind of overtake them, and they tried to do things in their control before turning to Jesus. And we do the same thing. We kind of treat it like Jesus is sleeping, and we look to control things and to do our part in the storms of our lives. And then when we're maxed out, we turn to Jesus. But I want to encourage you to remember who is in your boat, because Jesus has the power to calm the storms. In the story, Jesus did calm that storm, literally. Um, but sometimes in our lives, we notice that we ask Jesus to calm the storm and he doesn't. And that progressive disease continues to cause decline. And that wayward child doesn't turn around and make the decisions that we hope that they would. And the financial crisis worsens. You know, Jesus doesn't immediately alleviate all of our difficult circumstances. Life will bring difficult times and Jesus does not end every storm, but he does promise peace. Philippians 4, 6-7 says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Did you catch the promise in there? It's a promise for peace. Jesus did not abandon his disciples, and he will not abandon you. Sometimes he calms the storm, and sometimes he calms the child. That's you. Sometimes he chooses to calm you in the midst of the storm while it continues to rage. And remember, you're not alone. Remember who is in your boat, Jesus, the Prince of Peace. I hope that encourages you, and I hope that today you find peace.